Grab. Oh! Yeah! This is a rock fish. Oh! Limits, baby. Limits. Yes. It's a wing pod. The shot, the shot. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of this channel. So this is part three of that sturgeon hunt. Man, if you guys haven't watched part one and part two, make sure you guys check out those videos before you go to this one. Because in today's video, we are not giving up without a fight. So that being said, hopefully today will be that day that your boy lands a sturgeon for you guys. Anyways, I'm still working with the same setup. So this is just a eight foot medium light Phoenix rod. This is basically a salmon rod with a 4,500 size BG reel. For my main line, I'm working with 30 pound braid. For my rig setup, like always, working with that Carolina rig. So I got that slider, that ball weight. This is a four ounce ball weight with a bead, swivel clip. For my leader line, working with 60 pound mono. For my hook, Gotta work with that six odd barbless. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So today is Sunday. It is like seven o'clock in the morning. We're fishing that incoming tide. So for today's bait, I'm working with live ghost shrimp that I've purchased from Fisher Supplies. This is ghost shrimp, guys. And as you guys can see, they're still alive. Also, we are going to do a combination with night crawlers all right so the reason why i always work with a swivel clip is because i can just leave my rod to the side and just clip off my leader line and put bait easy okay so yeah all right so let's go ahead and put bait because today is slack tide usually with that leader line on my hook i would work with like a small little weight with the bead but I don't think that's necessary due to the fact that we're fishing that slack tide. But if you're fishing fully incoming tide or outgoing tide, it's best to add some weight onto your leader line so that your bait can stay in one spot. But like I said, today is slack tide, so the water should be very calm. All right, putting bait, come on. Be careful not to get pinched because these bad boys do pinch pretty hard. And there I go, just like that. Because there's just so many bait fish in here, go ahead and just put one more ghost shrimp. You don't need to hook it on there, just lay it on the first ghost shrimp that you hooked on. Grab your magic thread and just mummify it. Just wrap it around like a mummy. Not too much, don't wrap it too tightly because if you do, your bait will like fall apart. All right, there you go, just like that. And we're not done yet. Gotta add that night crawler. You know, before somebody told me that you should do a combination with Nightcrawler. I didn't even expect that Nightcrawler would work so freaking great. When I started using it, I caught my first sturgeon with it. So yeah, always take other anglers advice instead of yourself because you just never know. They might put you on a sturgeon, man. Just like that. And pop it off. Boom. There we go. Make sure your hook is exposed. All right, let's go ahead and cast in. All right, so I'm going to cast up here because I don't feel like walking down there. I think we can make it happen. Yes, sir. Perfect. 
Look at all that bait fish jumping all around. And that's why I put two bait, just in case. All right, now we wait, guys. Wish me luck. I got a hit, guys. I got a hit. I got a hit. I got a hit, guys. I got a hit. Sturgeon. Oh, I got him, guys. Sturgeon, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah. There he is. I just better cast him in, guys. There he is. I got to get my bill. Sturgeon, guys. There it is. There it is. Let's go. On an earthworm. Go shrimp. Definitely a sturgeon, guys. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Throwing myself on the floor. Woo! Come on, baby. Sturgeon, guys. Finally got him. Gotta keep the tight tension. No slack. Can't keep it slack, guys. Working with the barbless and none of that. See how it's running? Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on. He's gonna start running, guys. Choo! Let's go. Let's loosen it a little bit. We don't want to lose him. There he is. Come on, buddy. There he is. Come on. Oh, this is heavy. This is a smart sturgeon. He's running. Oh, there you go, guys. That's how it's done. This is uh, oversized. Oh, come on. Okay, let's get him tired. The way to fight this sturgeon is that they're smart. When you go forward, they're going to start running. Come on, buddy. Okay, I don't want to go down there. Okay, I think we have to go down there. But if I do, he's going to start running. Oh my goodness. <sighs> going down, guys. <sighs> Shoot, who is he? There he is. There he is. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness, like, it's a big one, guys. Come on. It doesn't want to move. Shoot. Wow, he's a smart sturgeon. Okay, this is what they do. They will stay on the side of the slough. You know, the best option is just wait until they start running out. Oh my goodness, they're out here, guys. Come on. Shoot. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know you're there. I don't want to snap. He's so smart. Okay, we're gonna just risk it and release the line a little bit. We're not supposed to do this, but we have to. Oh my goodness, this is the oversized sturgeon, guys. An instant hit when I cast it in right away. Just like I said, guys, once it's the season, it's the season. Oh, I know I talk a lot, but my adrenaline is rushing. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness, he's stuck in the mud. I cannot believe it. Come on, buddy. Don't do this to me now. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna release the line. Let him swim out. Damn it. He's there. This happened to me last time. Yeah, he's swimming, he's swimming. Come on. Come on, buddy, swim out. I can feel you on a line. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is bad. Damn it. This always freaking happened. So hard fishing at this place, man. We're gonna have to do something. Let's see if we can pull him on the side over here. Oh, there we go, he's coming. Come on, buddy. Oh, this sturgeon's smart. Oh, there we go, he's running his right. There we go, that's how you do it. He's smart though. It's an oversized dude. It's a massive one, guys. It's a huge one. There, guys, coming. It's coming from where it is. We got him out. Oh my goodness. This sturgeon's it's an oversized guy. It's too massive. Come on, buddy. 
Come on. <sighs> there he is. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. He's so smart, guys. He doesn't want to come up. <sighs> it's like a hundred inch sturgeon. Oh my goodness, I can't get him. I think we have to walk more to the left. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. This is a bad idea. Why did I come here alone? Come on. Come on, buddy. Why are you so smart? Oh, my goodness. It's an oversized, guys. But I can't get him. He's smart. Ah, we're going to have to wait. If anything, there we go. There it goes, buddy. He's like, go ahead. I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna let him run. Just let him run. Just let him run. See, see, he's running over there. I don't know. How is he stuck? Why is he stuck? No. Shoot. He's stuck right there. We might snap off, guys. We're stuck onto something. Shoot, this sucks. This sucks so bad. It's so many levels. Go ahead, he can run. We're gonna let him run out, guys. See how he's running? He's stuck. He's right there, you see? See how he's swimming over there? But he's stuck right here. I don't know why he's stuck right there. Oh, man. We have to go in the water? I don't wanna go in the water. I'm so I can't believe I got stuck right here. All right, we're gonna have to just let him run out there. Ah, oh, this sucks. My goodness, do I have to walk down there? I don't wanna walk down there. Dude. Come on. Why am I stuck right there? It's a big sturgeon, but I'm stuck. This sucks, man. Wow, I had him. Fucker. Sorry for my language, guys, but we are completely stuck. The only option is to try to untangle it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, done deal. I had him, but now he's stuck. Shoot. This is, this is so sad. Can I believe it? I don't know how he got me stuck there. This surgeon's so smart. Oh man, I'm so pissed. We might snap. Please don't snap. I think he's off already. Come on. Shit. Oh my goodness. I can't bring this up, guys. It's stuck somewhere right there. The only option is to let him swim out, but he's not doing it. Whew. Damn, I had him too. Shoot. The sturgeon's so smart. I might go in the water, but I don't want to risk my life. 
I really don't want to risk my life, guys. It's just stuck right there. I don't know what to do. Okay, we might just snap it off. This sucks in so many levels. I snapped, guys. It was an oversized sturgeon. He, he got me. It's a massive sturgeon, but it's all good. Don't worry. Don't discourage yourself, guys, when you lose a sturgeon. It happens, okay? I've lost so many sturgeons fishing here because of the slough. But if I was on a boat, it'll be a different story. Damn it. Cut me clean off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Attempt number two. Damn, I just barely cast that one in and it ate instantly. But we have to check if our line isn't freighted. But man, it's all good, man. Let's get him again. Second cast stop. Right there, that's the spot. That's where they are. That's where all the sturgeons are hunkering down at. I just know the spot so well. You know, he's gonna hit again, I know it. Not the same sturgeon, but a different one. Hopefully not an oversized. Second hit, guys. I just got a second hit. Whew, it is active. Come on, take it. I feel like throwing up, guys, losing that oversize. But it's all good. I'm not trying to get wet today. Keep in mind that anything that is greater than 68, you cannot bring it up, okay? You will get a ticket. So make sure it's like under 65, then you can bring it up and take a picture, do whatever you want. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Be very careful when fishing at this location. You just don't know what size sturgeon you're bringing up. But yeah, I feel like puking right now. <sighs> My hand is like shaking so bad because I believe the sturgeon was like at least 100 inch, man. It was massive. I couldn't handle him. To the point where like, he was so big where he couldn't even come close because there's like a dip and there's a shallow end. So what these sturgeons do, they would stay inside of that dip. You know, they're not going to swim up because sturgeons, man, I'm telling you, they're just so massive to the point where like, they rather stay in deep water than for you to force them into shallow water. So, best to work with a heavy rod if you do decide to get your PB. But keep in mind, once again, do not bring up anything greater than 68. Oh man, you guys saw it, man. That sturgeon was massive. So big to the point where like, it didn't even want to show himself. But yeah, I believe it was at least 90 to 100 inch sturgeon, man. From, you know, the feeling of that rod and me reeling it in, it felt like I was like pulling in a car, but whew, we're not after that oversized sturgeon right now. I'm trying to get a keeper. I wasn't sure, man. I was going to go in the water and just, you know, risk it, but you know, I just barely got here. I'm trying to have fun, man. I'm not trying to get wet and call it a day early. So yeah, if we did land an oversized sturgeon, we have to go home because we're all wet. We gotta document everything. And it's kind of cold out here. So yeah, I didn't want to risk it. So I just snapped my line. I was like, forget it, snap it. You know, there's always another day, man. It's all good. This happens to me so many times. This is what you get when you work with a light setup. But hey, I'm all about the fight, not the catch. But yeah, hopefully we can get a keeper so that we can, you know, bring it up and you know explain some fun facts about sturgeon so yeah the way i'm finding sturgeons it's just so wrong because of the setup that i'm using but yeah maybe tomorrow i might bring out that saltigo with that 60 pound braid i think we're just going to you know fish for reals man because i'm tired of playing these games honestly like throughout my whole fishing trip from last season and today's season like i just 
kept constantly snapping off due to the fact that I'm just putting myself to the test where like I'm using light setup thinking that you know I'll be able to bring a sturgeon up however I was able to bring an oversized sturgeon on a light setup if you guys haven't checked that footage out I'll go ahead and pop up that thumbnail right now so that was last sturgeon run I think it was last year when I fought a 65 inch sturgeon on a 11 foot medium light phoenix cicada rod with a 4500 pen slammer reel 20 pound braid and i was able to bring that sturgeon in like nothing but yeah today i was outmatched man i think this year this sturgeon run i think sturgeons are going to be more bigger i just have a feeling because for the past couple of days when i was out here i didn't want to put it on footage but your boy just kept constantly snapping but yeah no more games but yeah this is only part three guys wait for part four hopefully part four will be that day that i land a sturgeon for you guys hopefully not an oversized i'm trying to get a keeper all right so your boy is about to go ahead and call it a day so if you guys enjoy the content of this skunk video make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching until next time